and welcome today we are looking into the topic which says simplifying fraction simplifying fraction means reducing fraction to the lowest there are two or three different ways we can achieve this let's see this by looking into some examples step one it says use a number that can divide the top and the bottom when we mean when we say top the top is the numerator and the bottom is the denominator and here is an example 8 over 12 how can we divide this to the simplest form we look at the number that can divide top and the bottom 8 over 12 can be div 2 can divide both 8 and the 12. When 2 divide 8, it will be 4. 2 divide 12, it will give us 6. We look at the numbers again, 4 and the 6. What can divide the two numbers? 2 can still divide. So 2 divide 4, we give us 2. And 2 divide 6, we give us 3. So the answer is 2 over 3 in simplified form. Step 2. How can we do this again? It says cancel off the like numbers, the numerator and the denominator. So here we have 8 over 12. And we can simply say that 8 is equal to 4 times 2. And 12 is equal to 4 times 3. Then we look here, we have 4 as the numerator and we have 4 as the denominator. We cancel them off and the remaining two numbers are 2 over 3, which gives us the same answer as the first one. Let's have a look at the third step by which you can ask. The third step says, look for the highest common factor for both the numerator and the denominator. In this example, we have 8 over 12. What is the highest common factor for both 8 and 12? The highest common factor is 4. If 4 divides 8, it will give us 2. And if 4 divides 12, we give us 3. So the answer still remains 2 over 3. Let's look into a different example using the same steps. Remember the first step says use a number that can divide top and bottom. 6 over 12, what is the number that can divide? 2 can divide 6 to 3 and 2 can divide 12 to 6. Then we look at a number again that can divide these two numbers. 2 cannot divide again, but then 3 can divide both numbers. If 3 divide 3, we get 1, and 3 divide 6, it will be 2. So the answer will be 1 over 2, because nothing can divide 1 over 2 again. Then let's look at the second step with the same example. This step says, cancel of the like numbers, but at the top at the, and at the bottom, the numerator and the denominator. Example says 6 over 12. 6 is the same as 6 times 1, and 12 is the same as 6 times 2. 6 and the 6 are like numbers, so we cancel off both 6, and the answer will still remain 1 over 2, as it was in the first step. The third step says, look for the highest common factor for both numerator and the denominator. 6 over 12, what is the highest common factor? The highest common factor here is 6. So if 6 divides 6, it will give us 1. And 6 divides 12, will give us 2. So the answer still remains 1 over 2. Thank you.